You know, if one of my two best friends since middle school would let me stay with them, then I wouldn't have to do this. On, on behalf of Carbo and I, I'd like to apologize for getting you evicted. That was really... Oh, wait, no. No, that, that was you. You did that all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She stands alone on that one. No, I'm serious. Moving in with my girlfriend is not a desirable thing in my life right now. I don't want to do it. You got to help me. Man. I don't want to do it. Uh, oh, well, don't look at me. You know, I live in the studio, and come on, man, sleep over, stop being cool in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And I have a boyfriend now, so I need my privacy. Whatever. How old is he? Like 60? Oh, he's okay. 80. He, he, he's no, 80. you know yeah. what? Mm -hmm. He's uh, yeah. 45. Right. And he just had a birthday, too, so he's pretty much still, oh. he's 44. Going into mm. Whatever. 44, 60. You say tomato, <laughs> I say 60. He's probably Stop. legally blind. He wouldn't uh, even notice me being there. Oh, look at me. That's I'm cute. That's six. really funny. Really. Where Stop. is it? I can't find it. That's really cute. Oh, oh my God. Please. You guys, let's go. This is ridiculous. I can't put it in. <laughs> I got evicted because I spent all my money trying to impress my new girlfriend. And I bought the sweet ass TV. Not my fault. Oh, it's not your fault. So it's okay. Well, if it's not your fault, uh, whose fault would it be? Rappers. They make it hard for us regular guys. Whatever. You're the dumbass who spent all your money on someone you met three months ago? What part of Take It Slow didn't make sense? Nothing you say makes sense. Besides, I refuse to take advice from somebody that's dating Mr. Rogers. You're dating Mr. Rogers? Okay, does he switch from his blazer to a sweater no. when you guys start to do it? I... Yeah, he also has a milk carton village in his living room. We play with it. It's really hot. It's Fine. If Mr. Rogers doesn't want to be my neighbor, I'll just do my time here at Shawshank Redemption 2 and get my own place again. Dude, you really think you're going to get your own place again, man? They don't call out the old ball and chain for nothing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what she's going to do to you in there, man. What am I going to do to him? Kim, you disappeared out of thin air. Was uh, Professor X mad when you left the X-Men? Yes, he was. Now, what am I going to do to him? For starters, you probably cut his penis off and use it as a really small shake weight, you know? <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Big boys neighborhood. Big boy. It is going down, man. Relationships, do they work? Uh -huh. yeah. Is it better to be single? If you're miserable, yes. Right, right. Our bedroom already has a TV. You get a lot of people that say, hey, you know, I'm in a relationship. What should I do? What's going on? It's a on? pink TV. Yeah, and it matches everything else in the room. Yeah. Help you. Who's in the neighborhood? Hey, what's going on, guys? What's happening? Who this? Uh, this is Rick. Rick, what's going on, Rick? Hey, How you doing, hey, Rick? Rick? Uh, good. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Check out all the pink and shit. <laughs> pink is my favorite color. Color of vaginas. It actually smells like vagina in here. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Thanks for helping me I support what I like to buy the way I like to dress, right? So I go out, and you know, I'm you know, wearing the shirt. She's so, you know, you dress like an 18 year old. Thanks. Oh, good luck with your wife. She's not my wife. A year ago, she wasn't trying to dress you. No, nah, dude, she wasn't trying to dress me or nothing. Yeah, she was just like, oh, you, that's, that's so cool. That's, you're, you're so cool. You Everything was compliments in the beginning. Nothing. Right. Have you changed, yeah, yeah. Rick, have you changed in a year? I don't think I've changed. So, so do you think that, like, right now with this shirt, a year later, what? she's a different person? It's not I a think I'm packing. I'm packing. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry, I couldn't hold it in any longer. Why didn't you spit in your own head? You know what? I feel more comfortable with you already. This is gonna be fun, right? Hmm. All right, well. I'm going to bed. Give me a kiss. Um, can I get a better kiss than that? enough. We have to get up early tomorrow. What? Why? We do chores on Sundays. I thought we sleep late and watch football on Sundays. We do not. Sundays for chores. You don't sleep late and watch football. Ever. Ever. Can you turn the TV off? Can I leave it on? I like to sleep with the TV on. Just turn it off, okay? I'll turn it down real low. In the bathroom light if you're done. Thanks. Um, can we compromise? As you know it is now over. I get the bill. There it is. Yeah. Is that good enough for you? Right.
friend. That sounds great. It's, thank sounds you. Great. Thank you, man. So you are now anointed as a single man. <laughs> Big Boy's Neighborhood. Big boy. It is going down, man. Relationships, man. Do they work? Are you better off being single? We've been talking about it, man. And we got someone that felt like it was it was so necessary to just come up into oh, the yeah. neighborhood and be helped with this problem, man. Now, your name is? James. How you doing, James, man? What's so bad about your relationship, James? Well, she is uh, the Antichrist. Uh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, man, you want to be careful about dating the Antichrist, man. We heard about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's not working. Uh, all righty. Now, so this is what we're going to do. You're done. So if we call her up, is it okay to call her up? Please. So do you want Hello. me to handle it? Because I can handle the breakup for you. Do y'all live together now? That's the that's the issue. Okay. I don't have anywhere else to go oh. unless I can stay with you. No, no, you're not no, going to stay with me, but I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the breakup okay. for you. But yeah. I still, we're going to ask you to leave. I still want to live with her, though. What? what I still don't... Come on now, James, man. What the... you Are you I wish that when somebody. people just walked in here, we could do a blood test. Are you trying to do uh, like the test. friends with benefits thing? Or... <laughs> New benefits. I so just want to sleep wanna, on her couch. You want to break up with her, but you still want to <laughs> sleep on her couch? Yes. All right. You do you want me to house? tell her that? Yes. Okay. All right. You don't want to be homeless. All right. Line. All right. Well, well, do me a favor, brother. James. Do me a favor. If you write down the name, her name Why is Kim. Why are you on the couch? Kim. All right, Kim. And I'll put her phone number out on the air, man. So just write that phone number. James, why are you on the couch? Because it's softer than the floor. Must have fell asleep with the TV on. What? The snoring. You have uh, this TV in the closet and take out the trash, please. Pew, pew. <laughs> Is it better to be single? It's not full yet. Yeah, well, there's still trash in it. Um, it still needs to be emptied. It's empty. Just has one banana peel and some tissue. Ah, gross. gross. That is gross. gross. You spit in my hand last night. That wasn't gross to you? That was that was fine. But this is gross. Can you just take out the trash? And that box needs to go as well. Please. Oh my god, what is that? Is it alive? No, silly. It died when I shaved it off my body. Wow, that's disgusting. What? I haven't shaved in a while. I don't know what's the big deal. I mean, I just thought that since we'd be living together, that we'd eventually, you know... Have sex. Well, yeah. Coming! <sighs> smells so good in here. Okay. All right, we'll come in the bathroom when you're done, okay? Okay.
Oh, you guys didn't know? Yeah, I, I didn't know either until last night. Just found out. I was kind of planning on watching the game with my friends today, but no, I'm here. James! I'm banana peels out of freaking trash cans. James, stop! What? No, it's short day. It's short day. It's okay, Tony. Yeah, no, it's sad, but uh, don't cry. That's stupid, okay? Uh, what we can do is we can stop crying like a little bitch and go to the store and get me some opera and then we can all clean together. How about that? What? James, Tanny's grandmother just died. Shauna and I are trying to console her. She doesn't say bless you when I sneeze, doesn't let me watch TV in bed, and she makes me do chores. She's like an unpleasant, non-singing Mary Poppins. Mm, I told you this was gonna happen. And she snores like a velociraptor. <laughs> and the first night that we spend together, I gotta sleep on a couch because of it. Uh, wait, you've never spent the night together before? Nope. You know, I used to think that she was just being old fashioned. Now, I think that she was just trying to M. Night Shyamalan me. The sucky twist at the end. Ugh. Come over here and help me move this. Hey, we don't need no pineapple. No, how much are these? $30. What, what are you going to do with pineapple? That's too much. It's way too much. We came here for something else. You know? What about this? There. Maybe I just need time to work the kinks out. It's too bad you don't have an apartment to go back to. It's too bad people don't like you because your face is ugly. You're married to Miss Piggy, and I'm awesome. Exactly. You know, so we're exactly. not broke. Okay. No, no, we are. All right. She wow. doesn't know it. She's yeah. living this life that no, she doesn't we're not have right broke. now. Well, you know, well, this one's 300. <clears throat> wow. That's 300? But guess what? I'm going to go. Uh -huh. This guy right here, he's the ring expert. Mr. But, Tall Guy, you know? we need your help, I'm man. Assuming this was your first day. Yeah. Oh. Come? Tall Guy, save my day. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you, like man. Good. Great. Doesn't look like he knows much either. <sighs> this guy's great. So how much is this one? Which one? This one right here. Oh, oh no, I don't like that one. How much? It's it's ugly. It's three hundred. You are so cheap. Wait till I tell my mother that you bought my engagement ring in a stuff shop. Okay. So you two lovebirds getting married? Oh yeah, we we just had a baby. You are the father. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're gonna be a family now. Congratulations. Mari can kiss my ass. You shouldn't talk about Mari like that because he's a great guy. Well, he's so great. Why don't you have him be the father of your child, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course you would say that, you would. He's taken, okay? Mm -hmm. But if I could have chose to have him make love to me in the bathroom stall of Chuck E. Cheese instead of you, I would have. Wow, whatever. Yeah, whatever. We'll take this one. It's ugly. Well, it matches your face, honey. <laughs> <laughs> James and Kim are so perfect strangers. Mm, no, more like Laverne and Shirley. More like Mork and Mindy. James, you're so Mindy, by the way. <laughs> no, we haven't had sex. What? 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 Dude, so you living with a girl, that's your girlfriend, and you're not having sex with her? No, she says that she's still feeling me out. I don't, I don't get it, what is that? Maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Like, I'm so. a girl and I don't get that. Whatevs, man. You know, you're trying something different. Cool. Thought you were gonna make fun of me. 
I'm not gonna do that to your face. Yeah, well, at least I got a roof over my head because nobody else would take me in. Dude, if you're gonna live with her, you've got to get the sex thing out of the way. Trust me, sexual tension in your living situation is not gonna make it any more comfortable. But she's not ready, okay? How do I make her ready? Nurture her. What the hell is that? Sex move? No. But it can lead to it. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, nurture how? Hey. Hey. What up? Did you forget your key? No. Uh, well, yeah, maybe. Yep, I forgot my key. That's what I did. Oh, are those for me? Those? No, no. They are for the best girlfriend in the world. Oh, wait. That is you. <laughs> Aw. They're beautiful. Well, guess what the best girlfriend in the world did for you today? She put my TV in the bedroom. No. It's so much better than that. Come on, let what, me show you. What could be better than that? Close your eyes. Okay, open them. Ta-da! Nice takeout. And you put it on the good plates. No. I cooked it. Nuh-uh. Yeah. I just wanted to make up for the rocky start we had, you know, just make everything perfect. Sorry, Kermie. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I don't think it's our fault though, you know? It's just... It's a crazy situation. Maybe we need to put on some slow music one night and nurture each other a bunch of times. Then we'll be fine. Thanks for cooking me dinner. And thank you for the eight, nine, ten roses. There's only ten roses here? You're welcome. So I'm, I'm not worth a full dozen? Well, no. Nope. I did the math, and you only added up to about ten. Sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. Seriously? Okay. Wow. If it means that much to you, I will get two more tomorrow. And then you'll have a dozen. Fine. Fine. You are worse than a rapist! What? Real quick, man, how much for the mannequin here? The bald one. Uh, three dollars. Are you selling like faulty mannequin heads? I, I've never seen one that cheap. How, how, how can it be faulty? It's a mannequin. I'm just trying to buy a mannequin head. That's all. I don't, I don't need an attitude behind it. I'm just, I saw him from outside. I'm into it. I, I, I have a thing about the mannequin. That's my business. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you money. You can have it for five. Dude, what is your problem? What, what's the attitude about, man? No attitude. I'm sensing attitude. Uh, uh, sorry, man. I just, I got some things going on. Jeez. What, what things? You need to get some stuff off your chest? You want to talk about it before you make a sale? I got, I got some girl problems. What, what kind of girl problems? What are, you, what are your problems? 
Really? I don't think I should go into it. I don't think I needed to explain why I wanted the mannequin head, but I had to. Hey, all right. Got this girl. I want to break up with her. She's crazy. I'll tell you what you do. Next time she eats bacon, shit on her piece. <coughs> shit. Shit on her piece of bacon. You know what that's going to do? What? It's going to show a different side of you. She never seen that side. Okay? Then she's going to say, why you shit on my bacon? When she say, why you shit on my bacon? Say, because I wanted to. I'm a man. I'll do what the hell I want in this household. No, you won't. You won't shit on my bacon. Problem. I'm done. I'm not going to deal with a woman that goes back and forth with me. Leave. You're out. You see what I'm saying? Shit on the bacon. Shit on the bacon, homie. I know what I'm talking about. I've been with women for years. Okay, now that doesn't work, though. What should I do? There's no reason why it shouldn't work. How many times did you shit on somebody's bacon? None times. Exactly. So how do you know it doesn't work? I don't. Exactly. Shit on the bacon, man. That's your problem. You ask too many questions, if I can't son. Produce the shit. Then wait till you got a shit and then cook the bacon. Okay. All right? All right. I see why she's crazy. Why? Can mannequin. I get the mannequin head, man? That's okay. it, dude. I done took time out of my life to drop some science on you. I don't have time. Here you go. Here you go. Let's see why you don't so, get good business in here. Mm -hmm. See why you don't get good business. Hey, you. You're gonna go good with the rest of them. Trust you, I'm gonna call you that though. Mm -hmm. uh, How much do I owe you? Just take it. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Say, say bye. Her name's Charlene. Not anymore. Maybe my heart won't make a difference. Maybe my heart won't see it through. I wasn't meant to burn a mess. Huh? 30 seconds, but I'm through. And I wonder if I should up and Breakfast in bed. Why are you dancing? My daddy's coming over for dinner tonight. I thought he was in Spain. Barcelona. But he just got back last night, and he's coming over today. So you, mister, need to eat your breakfast because you have a big day ahead of you. Oh, and I like your beer. I like it. I like it. I like it. What is this? Bacon. Bacon. It's fake bacon. Shit on the bacon, homie. My dad's a vegetarian, so. I like real bacon, though. Well, you don't need real bacon anymore, because there's fake bacon. Oh, and those are some, I can't believe it's not sausage, sausage. Mm -hmm. But I like to call it sausage. Mm -hmm. Try some, come on, try it. Mm. Pulp? I hate pulp. Mm, I thought you liked pulp. I don't. Okay. It's chewy. It's good, right? No. I was sleeping in the pink room last night. Pinky in the brain. Shut up. What's wrong with you? Not in the mood. Yeah. 
I'll give you a hundred for it. Eighty-two in cash and the rest in quarters. Get out of here, Scoop. Come on, dude. You don't even like baseball anymore. Doesn't matter. It's my card. I can do what I want. Then why even keep it in the case if you're not going to sell it? Oh, I'm not going to sell it to you. Doesn't mean I'm not going to sell it to somebody else. You're just mad because the Orioles are the worst team in baseball. You're the worst team in baseball. You're ugly. You're a virgin. Way worse than being ugly. Completely irrelevant. I sucked a boob. A boob? Yeah, probably. And you were also eating baby food at the time, right? No, I, I suck boobs all the time. I'm a suck machine. Shouldn't you uh, be off somewhere doing homework in your suit? Why are you wearing a suit? I had a presentation at school today. Did you present how much of a suck machine you are to the class? God, you're such a douche. Emphasis on the duh. You're a suck machine. Emphasis on the balls that you suck. Boobs. Balls. I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. I want a partner's engagement ring, please. That's a big rock. How much do you want for it? It doesn't even matter. I can't stand looking at it anymore. I want to get rid of it. Well, uh, this isn't a pawn shop, but I'll give you a dollar for it. What? That worthless jerk. No, it's no, no, fake, I'm, isn't it? No, Is this no. fake? He means one dollar for every tear he made you cry, and that still wouldn't be enough. That's, that's sweet. I know your pain. You don't even have to tell me what happened, because I know, and somehow I feel sorry. You know, what kind of world do we live in where a beautiful creature like yourself gets her heart broken? Let me guess by what? Professional athlete? Am I right? Half football. I knew it. It's amazing. Don't ask me how I know. I just know these things. No, you must be psychic. Or, like, you must have some kind of connection. You feel it too? You know, I, I, just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think I'll ever be able to get over this. Don't cry. No, I feel so betrayed. And you should. You know what, but I would never do that to you. You know why? Because it's not because I don't have the options, you know, to lead through those problems. It's because I don't have the money that those options have. That is so sweet. I'm going to take you out. And we're not going to care about whatever that basketball player did to you. Football. Football, basketball, whatever that barely passing the SAT chump did, we're not even going to think about it, OK? Because I don't play games. Unless it's Connect Four. And I would never play Connect Four with your heart. No. Maybe that is exactly what I need. A fat old poor man with a really good heart. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know, this is turning out to be a real serendipitous day. I mean, wow, like my luck is changing. You know, I'm going to change yes, because yes, you you've inspired me. Can I inspire you for your, your name? <laughs> my name is Sandy. Hello, Sandy. I'm Carvel, and that's James. I'm going to take this ring from you, OK? OK. You know, because love is more important than a ring anyway. It is. You have, can I just trouble you for your phone number? I was going to go out if I don't have your number. You know? <laughs> it's, it's Sandy. That's my area code. We're going to have so much fun. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Give me the receipt. Hold on, let me give this to you right there. Receipt. You take this, guess what that is? It's my heart. Oh. Be gentle, be gentle. That is, no, you are the most adorable grown man I have ever, ever met. <laughs> You're like a little boy mm -hmm. in a big old body. I'm trapped. Yeah, I'm, I'm trapped. Get me out. Yeah. Sandy, help me. Ah, help me. Get out. Get out. Okay. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Bye. Okay, don't forget your pocket. Bye. Um, bye. 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 I'm trapped. I can't get out. Okay. Nurture. Boom. That's how you do it. Bam. You close, you get in. Bow.
Hey, James, could you close up for me tonight? I gotta go to the mall before it closes. I'm gonna go to a dinner club with Jeff tonight, and if I run late, he calls the police station and reports me missing. Wow. Thanks. What are you gonna do tonight? I am having dinner with Kim and her father, who I never met before. Wow. Mm-mm, not excited about it. Well, look on the bright side. I mean, if uh, Father the Bride approves, you know, you're, you're in there, man. You're part of the fam. I don't want to be part of any family. All right, well, good luck. Bad luck. Hey, loser! Still no on the card, Scoop. Trade! No, no trades. Come on, you bad catcher. I'll give you twice what the card's worth. Twice ain't enough, okay? Get out of here. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Or week. B biggest mistake of your week. Okay, you really want that card? <laughs> Are boobs made for sucking? Fine. Give me your soul. My what? Your soul. My... My soul. Yep. I don't, I don't understand. Well, why, what do you need my soul for? Come here. It's really, I don't, I don't know why you would want my soul. I don't understand what's going on. Give me your soul, and I'll give you this card. All, all or half? All. Who the hell would want to have a soul? Okay. All right, deal. <laughs> wow. Really? That easy. Yeah? That card's worth a soul. And besides, rappers do it all the time. Yeah, but rappers sell their soul for money and bitches, not baseball cards. What are you, what are you saying? I'm saying go home right now, and I won't tell your mom you tried to sell your soul for a baseball card. But I just, mm -mm. You, I, uh, uh, I just, uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, go. What? What? Yeah, not so. Yeah. Go. Oh. Mr. James. Please don't call me that. I had a teacher named Mr. James. Didn't like him very much. You can call me James. You got something against teachers? No, no. I like teachers because they're for the kids, and I love kids. Not in a sexual way, though. You know, like a pl platonic love. Are you having sex with my daughter? You guys ready for some sausage? Mmm. <laughs> So, Mr. Sweet, what were you doing in Barcelona? I saw this movie called Vicky and Christina Barcelona. Oh yeah, I saw that movie. I saw it. <clears throat> it's about a gentleman who has a threesome with two beautiful women. I thought I could get lucky. Uno, dos, tres. Tres. Correcto mundo. Well, did you get lucky? No. Unless you consider a foursome lucky. You're kidding, right? He's kidding. So is that why they call you Mr. Sweet? I thought your last name was Johnson. It is. But let's just say long or the short. I killed a man with a candy cane. Why don't you just kill him with kindness? Less blood that way. You know, you being a Vegetarian and all. I don't mind blood. Yeah, I don't mind blood either. The more blood, the better, I say. You say that? I, I said it just now. Might say it again one day. You ever killed a woman, James? Cheers.
Mm. You look so vulnerable when you're asleep. Vulnerable as in, as in what? Easy to kill? No, easy to love. I feel like I have your heart right here in my hand. Like I just ripped it out, ripped of, your it out of your chest and it's right here, just beating. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. It's not love. It's the temple of doom. Okay, so it's our love temple. And then we be doomed without each other. I'm not worth a full dozen? Eight, nine, ten. Kim. Rapist! I think I should tell you something before this goes any further. What is it? Uh, I don't love you. It's kind of like you a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid of it. But I'm not afraid of it. I'm afraid of you and the crazy way you're talking right now. I'm just crazy in love, James. We're going to be together forever. Uh, we don't want to be together. So. I do. I don't. I do. Sorry, it's getting cold. Is it too hot? <coughs> Is it too cold? No. Is it just so good you can't keep it in your mouth? No. Just... Just what? Honestly. You really want to know? Honestly. It tastes like shit. Like actual shit. Like you put a spoonful of shit in my oatmeal and mix it around. You don't have to be afraid. I'm afraid that you might have put shit in my oatmeal, but you wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't put animal or human feces in my oatmeal, would you? That's right, James. Shit. Why would you do that? That's what our relationship is gonna taste like if we don't commit to making it the best it can be right now. Seriously, Kim, what did you put in there? I'm just gonna have to be more proactive with my efforts. So are you saying that I just had shit in my mouth? Really? Wow. You know what? Shit. I'm glad we had this talk. Break up. Break up? I mean, if, you, if that's what you want, we can, we can totally do that. You know, we'll obviously still be roommates, though. We'll still live together. Of course. Wow, I knew you would be, like, good about this. I knew you would be great about this. You know what? What? I think I'm done feeling you out. What does that mean? Losing the battle. How long was that? Ten minutes? He's done that quick? Oh, by the way, we have to be at Shauna's at 8, so I'll pick you up at 7.30, okay? But... 
Hey. Hey. Wait, Kim. 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 What? What's going on? Thought we were still going to talk about breaking up. No. What do you mean, no? No, I don't want to break up. Why not? Because I just gave you my born-again virginity. Born-again virginity? Yes. What is that? After every relationship, I get born again. What is that, like format in your hard drive? Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, I, I, I still think we should break up. Honestly? Yeah. What? <laughs> What? That's the one I just gave you? Oh, gosh. No. Kim. No. Stop, no. stop, stop. Come on. No. 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 It's gonna suck so much when you die. Excuse me, what? I never told you what happened to all of my ex-boyfriends. They lived happily ever after? They all disappeared. Maybe they're just hiding from you. Maybe someone killed them and then chopped their bodies into tiny little pieces. What's that crazy look in your eyes? It's love, James. It's the same love that made my mother die from loneliness. 80 proof wound. But alcohol... Alcohol isn't the answer, Jane. What's the, uh... What's the answer? Uh, uh, straight up street violence! I was joking. I can't, I can't hear you. I was joking. You're joking? You're joking? Oh my god! You just saved your life! You have no idea! From now on, I'm not gonna take anything you say seriously! You're always joking! You're always joking, joking, joking! That's all. Okay. Well, okay, well, I'll bring you a different shirt later. I'll pick you up at 7 30, okay? Okay. Alright, I love you. <laughs> I miss you. This is all your fault, you know that. Straight up street violence. If you had ovaries, I'd be afraid for your future children. If you had any heart, you would have came and smacked her around a little bit. No, look, what I need is to get out of this relationship without the occurrence of any physical confrontation. That's all I need. Dude, you need an exit strategy. Because unless Osama bin Laden is hiding in that girl's with JJ, you got to get away. Am I right? You're right. I need to bring the troops on. Bring them home. By troops, I mean my manhood. Exactly. Hold, hold on, wait. Do you guys hear that? What? That's the sound of brain cells dying because that was the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Whatever. You guys are being dumbasses. Whatever. You listen to her, you listen to me. It's your choice. Okay. What? Nothing. I just imagined you saying that you were thinking about what our kids would look like. You imagined me saying that? Mm-hmm. And our wedding, too. You said you wanted all of our families to be there. All of our friends will accept Carville. And then you said we'd go to Paris and make love under the Eiffel Tower, and then go to Barcelona and embrace under every landmark for 15 minutes. And then you whispered in my ear, I want to have you inside of me. And I was like, what? That's impossible. And you were like, I know that's impossible, but I still want it. I just love your soul. Mm, you can be so romantic sometimes. You know, imagining me say something doesn't really count as me saying it, right? Oh, I did good yeah. on one. Oh, you know what? James, James can help you. James, oh. come on, help Shauna uh, get the China Globes up here, okay? 
Yeah, he'll help you. He's tall enough. Perfect. He can do that. Good, good, and good. then what about our candles? Uh, the candles, you know what? I was thinking about doing, I don't know. Get them out what there. do you think? I think so. I think, okay, that's a good idea for the pool. Those. But you also might yeah. want to get some like tea candles, like the really small ones. Oh, that's romantic. To set the table, you know Very what I mean? Very romantic. Because it'll be nice with like the sun going down. Maybe we could get there. James to help kind of clean some of this stuff out of the pool. Yeah, just, he can do that. I haven't gotten around to it. He can take care of that. That's okay. what he's here for. Good, good. The more, the merrier. Yeah, so these need to go up here. Around with that. I'm be so excited to get those up. I've been wanting to get those up forever. Yeah, yeah. if you could just, you know, kind of. You're tall. You can. We'll just, just it's only two. Yeah. 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 It's time for a toast. Yeah. One, two, three. Come on, get it up. Come on. Mm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you guys are my heroes. I, I want to come here every week yeah, because I love guy. each and every one of your faces. As and you that's should. not the that. rum talking. That's this guy talking. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I didn't think I liked you at first, but because it was the best, well, the best thing. It was the best thing. No, but you have grown on me, my friend. You guys like the shirt that I... I knew you picked that out. You have such great I know. Thank you. Yeah. Next week we're wearing purple. So yes, we are. We picked out our outfits too. I knew that. <laughs> Doesn't James look great in pink? Little purple um, salt we're wearing, pepper we're wearing pink yeah, together. To the, uh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. The tequila melted so oh, hot. I know. Or is it vodka or rum? Remember We've had it all. We don't remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's good. He's getting the job done. Yeah. Yeah. He might yep. need to be cut off, actually. I right. don't oh, come on. What is what gets you out of the store? This is a special punch. No, 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 no. Walk home. I work hard. Walk home before I get um, cut off. No, you do not. <laughs> when you work hard all week, you deserve it. No, I am. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. I am. I will okay. sleep here. Uh, I will yeah. sleep on a wrap no. in the pool. No, we will not. I, I will want to go home tonight. Baby, you can pick me up tomorrow. PlayStation, me and you. PlayStation next week. Uh, PlayStation. Game night. Uh, PlayStation. Let's do it. Come on, James. PlayStation. PlayStation. James, you need another drink there, man. You look good on pink. Doesn't he? That's what I tell him all the time. He needs to wear more pink. So we can match together. <laughs> Hey! Why are you laughing? Alright, Rodney's having a good time. Yeah. Are you yeah. just looking at me? Now you're talking to me. Oh. Alright, maybe we need to break Alright, alright, all, right, all cheers to that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Okay. I'm out. Where's he going? Is he upset? I think it might have been the tequila. He left his shoes. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, when it's <laughs> okay. I mean. Yeah, when I stormed out of the party back there, I wasn't storming out of our relationship, you know, just the party. We're still cool, right? I mean, you're worried about everybody that you're tweeting and BBMing and they're not even your friends in real life. Like, duh, come on. You're so cute right now, you're jealous. You're right. so good. I right. have so many followers. I don't get it. Like, follow, follow you where? What, what is that? You're a Quaker. Right. I'm a Quaker, and you're a techno whore. Stuff shop, this is Leona. No, now that is the posture of a guy with no whipped cream in his chocolate pudding. What are you doing? Back door was open. Get out. You're not getting that card, Scoop. Whoa, 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 hey. Get out. Let's just concentrate on one thing at a time here. I heard about your, uh, situation. What situation? That girl you're living with so you're not homeless. Uh, I was eavesdropping on your friends the other day. Get out. I, 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 hey, I can, I can help you out. I can get her to break up with you. Get out. Come on, dude. I don't have any after school activities. Well, she wouldn't break up with me anyway. Why would she do that? Girls do it all the time. They, they break up with a guy that they thought was 
the one, just as soon as they find out that he's not the one. So all we gotta do is convince her that you're not the one. Honey, I'm home. You're late. What happened to you? I went to a strip club after work and sucked some boobs and got a lap dance. A couple lap dances. <clears throat> Oops. Wow. Busted. What is that? Looks like I've been having safe sex. A lot of it, too. Yeah, don't be fooled by just the one condom. I used a lot of them. Some I used twice. I doubled up. You don't believe me? You're such a bad liar. That's good, though. That's a good quality to have in a spouse. I'm not lying. I, uh, I had sex with a stripper in the strip club. What was the stripper's name? Strawberry, strawberry, banana, yogurt. Was her best friend there, Rainbow Sherbert? Was it mint chocolate chip? Man, what? I love strawberry, banana, yogurt. That's all I could think of. Your favorite dessert is all you could think of? Oh, well, at least you didn't say like uh, rainbow sherbet. Or mint chocolate chip. You should have said like cinnamon or like peaches and cream. Oh, peaches and cream. That sounds more like a dynamic duo of strippers though, like mm. Batman and Robin. Peaches and cream. Dude, crime fighting strippers? Oh my God. That could be like a TV show, like peaches and cream. <laughs> Coming up next on HBO. That'd be a hot TV show. Yeah, I would love it. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You, office, now. That little stunt you had me pull didn't work. She didn't believe me. Did you pull the empty condom wrapper trick? This is bad. It's interesting. It's not interesting, it's bad, okay? I'm getting my advice from a kid. A suck machine. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. The first thing I learned from watching Gossip Girls is that women are irrational. Big word. Can you spell it? And when dealing with irrational people, you have to be even more irrational. You gotta think outside the box. Why don't, why don't you think outside the store? Well, if it's gonna be a problem, then I'll uh, just have to take my services elsewhere. You should do that. I-R-R-A-T-I-O-N-A-L. Nice. <laughs> You watch Gossip Girls? Yes, I do. And I can help you. You just gotta trust me. But first, I'm gonna need that Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. No way. Mm -mm. I've got this. I've got this. to get your nails done. Who's this? This is, this is Yinny. Right? Uh -huh. Apparently, I'm her new mother. Um, her old one was killed in a freak, was it hyena and a wolverine attack? And a barracuda. <laughs> and a barracuda. Wow, that is so heartbreaking. I don't get it. Is this some kind of joke or something? What? You mean you don't remember impregnating a girl when you were 12 years old? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. I was 13. Why don't you come join us on the couch? Sit right. down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You must be tired from working all day. Yes, long day. Uh -huh. You can get a little closer. You know? <laughs> we won't bite you. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> she looks just like me. That's what everybody. <laughs> wow. So, you, Yenny is she, your name? Dad, <laughs> you know <laughs> my Stop name. Stop it. Yeah, don't call me that. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to move in with us. Yeah. Right. Move in. Yep. And since I won't be around, you're gonna be her new mommy. How about that, Kim? Of course. What? What, James? I've always wanted to have your children. I mean, I didn't know it was gonna be so soon. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. But um, of course I'll help you raise your daughter. Okay. What? Okay, um, this is awkward. I can't, like, really be your daughter because I kind of have a mother already. Yeah, um, and if I don't get home before curfew, she's going to be pissed. Look, I tried, okay? Sorry. Really? A yeah. barracuda? But Scoop said you would pay me. Do you even know what a bar barracuda is? That's not the point, okay? They attack all the time. How much? 50 bucks. Oh my you know, god. Because that's the price of my Justin Bieber tickets. Yeah, a little scam artist in Fjord. Whose mom gets eaten by a barracuda, really? It could happen. It could totally happen. It's better be exact, too. Doing your dirty work. Come on. That's all I got. Here, take this. Take it. Get out of here. Dude, I don't do piggy banks. Thanks for the snack. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Well, guess I'll just let myself out. Scoop. Uh, what was that? <laughs> crazy people don't 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 let crazy people in the house, man. She could have ex murdered both of us. Tails, we break up. Heads, we stay together. Heads. We're together forever. How about best two out of three? Nope. I said no. It's heads. You are never getting that Coward King Jr. rookie card. Never. Dude, chill out. No, I will not chill out, okay? You douchebag. Okay. Look, I, I heard about what happened last night. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I'm sure that was gonna work. Yeah, and you owe me 50 bucks for that. Okay. Uh, you suck, bitch. This is all just part of a trial and error. Uh, now we know what doesn't work, and now we can figure no, out no, no. what does. Your schemes, I'm done with them. They don't work, okay? I'm giving up. What would you do? What? I'm hurt that you would say that. You that lunch. You're really giving up. Guys like us don't give up. I mean, where would Middle Earth have been if Frodo and his friends just gave up? What what sort of country would we live in if Jack Bauer didn't defend countless terrorist attacks on American soil? You can't give up, man. Because if you do, all those crazy women running around who should be in mental institutions, but they're just so freaking hot that they're, they, they're just not, they're just going to have another win. We gotta teach these crazy hot chicks a lesson. Amen. You gotta hang in there, man. I don't know what to do. Do Okay, I got a plan. It's a little risky, but I think it'll work. Crazy bitches. Crazy bitches. Crazy bitches. Yes. Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. It has to be like the worst proposal of all time. Genius. All time. Don't listen to them. Why not? Because what if she says yes? She's not gonna say yes because it's gonna be a crap proposal. No, that's crazy. Look, why don't you just talk with her? Be honest, tell her how you feel. That would be gay. Really gay. Yeah, they're right. What are you trying to make us gay with all your gay talk? You guys are being idiots. Stuff shop, this I is Leona. Don't...
Can you untie this? Why? Because I want you to take me. Take you where? No, take my body. Can I, can I just take you to the movies instead? No. What are you doing? I don't want to take your body. I think we should break up. I think you should break up with me. Why would I want to do that? You're the greatest boyfriend ever. Oh, thanks, but I don't want to be though for you. Oh, oh, Biggie, those are little Kermit. <laughs> Come on, Kim, we're not compatible. <laughs> Good and evil aren't supposed to mate. Answer me, right now. No, Kim, no. Why not? Because. Because what? Because, Kim. Because we have to get married. Right? Did, did you say Mary? Yeah, I did. Hi, is Leona here? Leona? Are you Mr. Rogers? Yes. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Sure. In the neighborhood? I guess. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How does it feel to be so old and dating somebody so young? That huge age gap difference. It feels fine. Why? Age is just a number anyway. Okay. So have you found that being 60 and dating a 20-year-old uh, is better than being Married, having kids, being loved? I'm 45. Besides, I already did the whole family thing. Uh, it's my choice to date 20-year-olds. And that's, that's a good thing? Yeah. I'm happy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see you tonight. Tonight? Your engagement party. Oh, yeah, that, no. Probably won't go to that. I was thinking about jumping off a bridge after work. Cry me a river, George Bailey. I'll see you later. Yep, I'll leave you in my will. Kim. Kim. Look, I always knew this was going to happen. I just, just thought it would be with somebody more attractive. You know what I look forward to? You waiting on me hand and foot. Like, I heard this like a law when you get married. That'll be fun. How you feel about polygamy? We'll talk about it later. I'm gonna try really, really hard not to cheat on you. That much. Not that much. Minimal. Minimal. So, here we go, Kim. You can make me the happiest man. Kinda happy, not really, in the world right now by accepting my blah, blah, blah marriage proposal, will you marry me, and like, stuff like that. All that crap, whatever. Yes. I'm, what? I'll marry you. No, no, that's not what you said. Hello, <laughs> hello, may I speak to Kim? This is Kim. How you doing, Kim? This is Big Boy from Big Boy's Neighborhood. Boy. This is who? This is Big Boy from Big Boy's Neighborhood. We we have a, a a friend of yours down here. Oh, okay. All righty, yeah. Um, your friend James is here. James? Yes. James is, he's not my friend. James is my fiancé. Hi, Kim. Right. Oh, oh. see, you got to know this. James is your fiancé. I, I forgot yeah. to mention that. Okay, well, um, I didn't know that you, you guys were engaged and that this was your fiancé, but he came down to the neighborhood. We were on air talking about relationships, and he made sure he came in to tell us that he's no longer happy with the relationship. He doesn't want to marry you. Is this a joke? No, no, honey. This is this isn't a joke. He he really had us call you to let you know that he's he's done. For real. 
I don't know who you guys are or who put you up to this. Um, James is here. I'm not uh, Kim, Kim. Uh, Kim, Kim this, James is here. Say hello to her. Hello, Kim. Hi. Kermy. No, what? What? No? He don't want you to call him honey anymore. I think anymore, he doesn't either. want you to be upset. Yeah. Right. So why would I get upset? Because I, he got evicted from his apartment and Ooh. begged to stay with me. Ooh. And so I let him and I, I cooked for him and cleaned for him. And now he's calling me on the radio in front of everybody to say that he doesn't want to be with me anymore. But you know what? He still wants why you to cook. He, upset? he I, still wants you to cook and clean. Yeah. And he still want to stay on the couch. He just don't want to be engaged. He don't want to be in a, a, a relationship with you anymore. Roommate, all the other mate. stuff. Yeah, yeah roommate. roommate, not mate. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, I. that's not going to work. So Liz, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You know, this is so typical. Does he you know how you meet a guy and he pretends to be Prince Charming in the beginning? He's whining you, he's dining you, he's taking Did you, you out with all this stuff. Maybe a little bit. all of his money and then you find out in the end that it was all just, you know, it was pretend. He was faking it. Well, yeah. Who does that? Right. Oh, James And then does now, that. you know. Well, you know, what? Just, just, just in a nutshell, Kim, uh, he doesn't want to be with you anymore. He wants it to be over. He still wants you to cook and clean for him. Yep. Uh, if he, if possible, he would like to have the linen changed on the sofa tonight, she, and it's he's done. She beats me. You know what? what? And he said he don't I want do you to be not, physical with him you know anymore. What prob- you know what the problem is? The that problem he's is you. Afraid of intimacy. No, the oh. problem is oh. him. The problem She's is he's no. afraid of intimacy. You know, and I listen to your show no. all the time. I'm actually a really, really big fan. And just if you don't mind me quoting you guys, is this. Relationships are all about, you know, loving each other past your mistakes. And that's what, you know, I'm trying to do. Like, I know I'm not perfect and he's not perfect, but mm. he's told me he's got intimacy issues and I'm willing to love him past that. No, I don't I have intimacy issues. All of that, you know? Intimacy issues. <laughs> right. So, so I was, uh... Yeah. Does it, I mean, is it crazy to you that he's saying anything to kind of get out of this relationship? You know what I think is crazy is that he's just so afraid to be in love. You warned me. Why didn't I listen? Nobody listens. Everybody rushes. Where's old man River? Um, he dumped me. Yeah. He was like, um, you should find someone your own age. You should settle down, start a family, that kind of stuff. It was weird. Wow. What? All this time, I didn't realize it was right in front of me until now. What are you talking about? Are you drunk? Oh, oh, God, James! Sorry. Oh, Sorry. no. Oh, what the hell is wrong yeah, with you? Know, I just kissed Leon. Oh, God. Dude, on the lips? Oh, yeah. God. Dude, you know how many penises have been on these bad boys, what? man? What? Shut <laughs> up. Only two. Right. Stop. Yeah. Oh, right. God. Yeah, too oh. many. Come on. Oh. What you thinking? Sorry. He tried the whole... 80s movie, I'm really in love with my platonic girlfriend move. No. What is that? Uh. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't go through with this. Uh. I can't. Well, maybe you could run. She'll find me. Oh, too late. Here she comes. What are you doing out here? Everybody's inside. Leona, kiss me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kiss oh, God. me. Oh, God. Make it look real. Let me get in. Mm. Look, look believable. Freaks. Look believable. Mm. Don't push me. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Come on. <laughs> Me too. Mm. Mm. This feels good. Mm-hmm. 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 Stop, 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 stop. Oh, Dude, really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Kim, come here. You need to say sorry to me. I didn't know you were into that, baby. You should have told me. No, I'm not, I'm not into that. Kim, seriously, <sighs> stop. I think that you deserve a guy that wants the same things you want. Marriage, kids, true happiness. But you make me happy. Well, right now I might, but... Like, in the long run, I won't. You don't know that. You're right, I don't, but... Like, we want different things in life. That's okay. Differences are good. It gives us stuff to talk about, right? On the surface, yeah, maybe, but... As a couple, not wanting the same things is is bad. It, It can lead to unhappiness. So what do you want, James? Uh... I don't know. I just... I know that I don't want to be 60 and unhappy because that'll lead to unhappy breakfast and oatmeal shit in it. Well, can't we just work on it? I don't want to work on it. Wow, that sounded bad. Maybe I should have just told you 
all this in the beginning. Yeah, you should have. Sorry. Tails. What's that? What's that mean? It's over between us, James. Over. You are now. You, I'm gonna do this brother. for you. Are now anointed a single man, yes, James, and probably homeless too. Can I say too. something? Yes. If, if I end up missing, uh, Kim is the one to arrest. Oh, okay, there it is. So if you come <laughs> up missing, we'll make sure that Kim goes to you jail. You're really scared. Right. Of me. Don't change the door locks, love. He's All right. Home. Yeah, he's coming home. That's and make right. sure that you go ahead and put those pillows together up for yeah, him so buddy. he can sleep on that couch. See you later, roomie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, of big boys neighborhood. Yeah. Seeing you with my daddy the way we ate dinner like a family, it felt good. You having sex with my daughter? I haven't felt that way since my mom passed away. I bump do. Bump. I do. Bump bump. Bump bump. I do. You gonna go in or are you just gonna sit there? I do. I do. I do. I just love your soul. I do. Come on! <laughs> Seriously, you're always joking! You're always joking, 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 joking! You're right. My mother was unhappy. And it's not because my father left her, it's because she didn't love herself. I can see how hard it was for my dad to live with that. And I don't want to be with someone who wasn't happy with himself. I don't know. What you said, telling me the truth no matter how much it hurt, it meant a lot. Thanks. I don't know, sometimes I just worry about ending up alone, so I guess it makes me a, a little aggressive. A little? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry too. Really sorry. Kind of sorry. I'm sorry. Where are you gonna go? Uh, let's say Barcelona, but can't afford that. Could sell your TV. That's not funny. I guess you could sleep on my couch until you find a place. Really? After all that? Don't make me flip the coin. No, I'm just saying, are you sure? Because I don't want to impose what you don't know.